<laughs> what? Dude, why? Why? Alright. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. And also the uncut version of this video is going to be available on Patreon so just check the link in the description bar below if that's something that interests you. I've already got all of season one up there and we're up to date with season two as well. So today we're watching the seventh episode for the second season of The Mandalorian. Last week's episode was tragic. I cried. It was so sad. I'm worried for the child. Oh, I should say Grogu because we saw him use his powers on the stormtroopers, which was cool because, you know, he got to use his powers, but he was using it in a way which, uh, which wasn't good because the more he uses his powers out of fear, the more he's closer to the dark side. And now obviously Moff Gideon's got him. He's in tiny baby chains that are really adorable, but he's chained up <laughs> nevertheless. I am excited for this episode. It's uh, the second last episode for the season, so I have no idea where it's going to go, but I know for sure that the Mandalorian is going to be looking for the child and, and he's got his crew with him now, so they're pretty unstoppable. We'll see what happens in this episode. I'm excited. So without further ado, let's get watching. Oh yeah, he's in jail, true. It's his lucky day. What's going on here? Let's go. You oh my god. With your new <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Are you taking me? <laughs> Droid's not fucking around, dude. <laughs> you know, for a second, I thought you were this other guy. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh my god. Lol. Oh, Boba's armor's shined up, isn't it? <laughs> Awkward. Why am I so lucky? Because you're Imperial. You still know your Imperial clearances and protocols. Ooh, this is gonna be good. The Believer. And I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace. No doubt in my mind. I'm in love. Coordinates for Moth Gideon's cruiser. They have his kid. Green guy, what's in it for me? You get a better view. Highly volatile and explosive. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like this one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't make jokes. <laughs> I'm coming with you, but I won't be showing my face. Oh, dude, he's hardcore Orthodox Mandalorian, dude. Loves is still wet. Ew, nasty. Oh wow. She's such a good friend. Shame you're not coming along with us. You got such a sunny disposition. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, man, you still get to wear a helmet, right? This guy just wants him to take off his helmet so badly, like even in the first season. I wouldn't complain if he took his helmet off, but he needs to be more respectful of other people's religion. Phase one complete. Someone told me that Fennec in real life is like 50 or something. I was like, no way, that can't be true. That cannot be true. She looks like 30. That's so true. I'm just saying, somewhere, someone in this galaxy is ruling and others are being ruled. Mm hmm. Do you really think all those people that died in wars fought by Mandalorians actually had a choice? So how are they any different than the Empire? I mean, he does have a good point. If you're born on Mandalore, you believe one thing. If you're born on Alderaan, you believe something else. Neither one of them exists anymore. <laughs> He's hardcore atheist. <laughs> is it that you can't take off your Mando helmet or you can't show your face? Because there is a difference. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay, what's going on right now? Oh no, man, turn! Turn! Oh no! He's not invincible because he doesn't have his Beskar armor on. He's only got Stormtrooper armor on and we all know that's shit armor. Ooh, wow! But he has great aim. Dude, there are so many of them. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Literally. Do they not get the message? Their other pals died. Oh fuck! Oh no. Oh my god, he's just going to fight them just like that? Ouch! Oh, no, 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 no! He doesn't have his best car armor! It's freaking me out watching this! Oh! Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Dude! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Straight punch to the gut. <laughs> Dude! He's taking on so many at the moment. And he has nothing but s his skills of combat. He has no weapons, except for that. Now there are two of them on him. Oh my god, they're not gonna fuck with that, are they? Why? Why? If they're pirates, wouldn't they want the, the vehicle? Why are they trying to blow it up? What do they want from- what do they want from him? Oh god. Oh! 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 Was it worth it? Let me work it. Now, whenever I see scenes like this on a movie or a TV show, I always think of it in a game kind of way, like how I would be coping in this situation. <laughs> that he's like, let's get this bread. I've never seen this side of stormtroopers before. They're happy and they're cheering. You know, I'd really love to sit down and chat with one of these guys. <gasps> Give it to me. Oh, he's gonna do it? Oh my god. Is this the second time we'll get to see the Mandalorian's face? Bit sus. Bit sus. Uh oh. <gasps> oh hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. I missed his face. I, I only like seeing his face when it's on his terms. He's probably feeling pretty anxious like oh gotta put the helmet back on oh god oh oh god officer tk593 sir you're gonna have to speak up to him a little bit since his vessel lost pressure in tana quick save what's your name officer oh you just call him brown eyes you're not dismissed oh Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. Troopers that delivered the shipment of Redonium. Yes, sir. Oh my God, I'm so nervous right now. I'm like clutching onto my, <laughs> my clothes. <laughs> that was a hard day. I had to make many unpleasant decisions. Our city gone in moments, along with everybody in it. We lost our whole division that day. All heroes of the Empire. Oh God. Is who you asked, don't you think? Uh oh. What you getting at, trooper? Dude. Dude, you're blowing your cover. What's he up to? Is he trying to get himself killed? There are too many people to take on in this room for him to be saying shit like that. They're going to return to us. Oh my god. That's got to be about Palpatine. Everybody thinks they want freedom, but what they really want is order. That's actually very true if this year has showed us anything well <gasps> what dude why 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 would you do that what you that was the dumbest shit he could have done I never saw your face. that's nice of mayfeld oh my god that 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 will literally kill them oh my god oh great Great, great! <laughs> I lost losing my voice. On my way. Yes, 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 yes. Love the backup. Ah, oh, this music. Come on, Boba. Come on, Bobes. They are such good shots. Oh, oh, oh my God! That was flipping close, wasn't it? He's blowing the base. <gasps> oh well. Now nobody's seen his face except for Mayfeld. Well, at least they know that he's definitely not trying to be a imperial hero. But now people are chasing him. <laughs> TIE fighters ain't got no chance. Boba Fett survived that pit. So... <laughs> Seismic charge! 
Dang! Dang! Look at that! Holy shit! Look at that! Episode 2. I like him now. All right, officer. That was some nice shooting back there. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> uh, that wasn't uh, part of the plan. Right? Just <laughs> getting some stuff off my chest. <laughs> you know, it's too bad Mayfield didn't make it out alive back then. Looked to me like prisoner number three, four, six, six, seven died in the refinery explosion on Morak. Oh, there you go. Does that mean I can go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least get his contacts. Because if he walks away, I don't think they'll ever really be able to find him. Because he's Mayfeld's dead. Did you get the coordinates on Moff Gideon? We did. All right, next episode's going to be hype. They've got Moff Gideon's coordinates now. There he is. Oh, maybe we get to see the child in this app for a little sec. Yeah, I would I would say that this is the only episode that we haven't seen the child. <gasps> you have some idea what you are in oh. possession of. Oh my god. But you do not. Same message he received. He means more to me than you will ever know. Oh my god. Chills. Chills. <laughs> oh my god, it is actually the only episode without the child. That's sad. <laughs> I miss it. So I can already see people complaining that this was a filler episode, but filler episodes are important because they progress the story, they progress the characters. Like, hello, look at Mayfeld. I hated him in season one. I actually really fucking like him now. So if it wasn't for this episode and if it wasn't for seeing where he was coming from and what he went through, we wouldn't have learnt any of that if it wasn't for this episode. And I think that Mayfeld is a very interesting character because he is ex-Imperial and uh, he came out of that hating. And seeing Kara and the Mandalorian let him walk away, signifying that, yeah, he redeemed himself. Episodes like that mean a lot to people who don't like plot holes, which I'm one of those people. I don't like plot holes. If this episode was the Mandalorian already tracking Moff Gideon, I would be like, well, wow, that was quick. Because I actually expected this episode to be the progression of getting to Moff Gideon. Because remember, we still have episode eight and that's going to be a really big one. The best part of this episode for me was seeing uh, the Mandalorian's message to Moff Gideon because, you know, that's the exact same thing that he told Mando and uh, he's, he's given it back to him. Like, I'm coming for the child. He's going to be mine. I'm not expecting him to achieve his mission in next week's episode, but we'll see. I'm definitely excited. I hope that it's going to be a longer one because it is the season finale for season two. And yeah, I thought I thought the entire mission was so sick. Uh, seeing them all work together, coordinate that so perfectly, even though the plan didn't go as they expected because Mayfeld did a revenge thing in the end. But I think it worked really well. I think it was great. And everyone did their job really well. So those were all of my thoughts on this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out. Don't forget that the uncut version is available on Patreon. Link in the description bar below. You can also subscribe and push bell notifications on so you never miss a video from my channel. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Cheers guys. Bye.